Someone who needs no financial backing because he was born a star um, with Elvis hairstyle is James Tobin, of course. How are you, JT? Um, well, mate, that's a fantastic introduction. Thank you very much. This morning, we've got something pretty exciting for you. Uh, this is a sport that I can neither confirm nor deny is the fastest growing sport <laughs> in Australia. It's retro modern and it's taking over back lanes across the nation. I'll explain more shortly. And then to James Tobin, who has the national weather live <laughs> from Redford in Sydney with Lame Shorts. <laughs> Uh, speaking of the urban hipster, here he is. Well, speaking of urban hipster, you ready? <laughs> Go. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> Stars of Warball behind me. Now, the Australian Bureau of Statistics have unequivocally never said this is the fastest growing sport in Australia. And I've got the president of the Redfern chapter, Kirk Docker. Good morning, Kirk. Yeah, good morning. Now, tell me about Warball. Well, mate, the basic premise was that we, over the summer, started hanging out in the street to get to know our neighbours a bit better and uh, see the people who are walking up and down and as boys will be boys. We got bored with just hanging in the street having a drink. We uh, decided to get a ball out and behind us here is a wall and we started playing some friendly competition and uh, next thing you know we've got a sport on our hands. Now you know there are so many parents at home ripping their hair out because they want their kids to go outside and play not <laughs> spend their time inside on their computer games. This is the perfect solution. Oh. Mate, all you need is a wall and a ball. It's as simple as that. And the ground needs to be, you know, flat. And uh, once you get your hand going, you hit your hand at the ball like a, like a, uh, use your hand like a racket, and you can play singles, doubles. Everyone who's in can play a game and can get eliminated. And uh, you can pull off trick shots. Once you Fantastic. get going, you're fine. All right, well, let's go to the weather maps and have a look what's happening around Australia. Look, I can tell this has got you intrigued. I'm sure it's got people right around Australia intrigued. This morning we'll show you how you can play this in regional parts of Australia or in the urban jungle that is Redfern where we are this morning. Terrific. So it's like a cross between squash and handball in gold shorts. <laughs> yeah, throw in some Jane Fonda and you've got it. <laughs> that that, that, that uniform stuff. is hot stuff. Mm. And we actually just saw him move his hips before and boy can he move. Mm. Not only can he wall ball. Balls to the wall. Yeah. We are finding out about wall ball this morning. I know we're on the edge of our seats. Here is JT once again. Well, some of the stars of Warball joining me here in a back lane in Redfern this morning. And it is huge, huge. Kurt Docker is the president of the Redfern chapter. Uh, to just explain the rules in a basic form, how does yes. one play? It's a very simple game. All you need is a ball and the wall here behind us. And then after that, it's just a series of shots. So you use your hand like a racket and you begin each point by serving it in a gentlemanly way, so it needs to be fair, like that against the wall. Mm. And from there, you have a series of shots that you can then play with, so. Okay, well, let's wait until we have a look at the weather forecast. <laughs> <laughs> and 34, Wall Ball International, <laughs> WBI, there it is. Now, there are a series of <laughs> official shot styles. Uh, Kirk, if we start here. Sure. So, this is your basic forehand. <laughs> nice. Uh, Callum, this is your basic backhand. <laughs> Scott's demonstrating the drop shot. <laughs> Tony, like the double hander for balance. Yeah. Oh, oh double wow. Austin, the overhand. Yeah, nice. nice. And Michael with the back door. <laughs> uh, a fanta fantastic effort, nice. gentlemen. Uh, look, and of course, and they're all Kirk, I'd imagine time. you can go with a, a less formal style. You don't necessarily need to go with those traditional shot types. No, you, you can go for any shot that will get the, wall, the ball back in play. So the aim of the game is to keep the ball going. Whatever you need to do to do that, you can use the left hand, right hand, any part of your body if you need, you need to use your head. Now, if you're waking up somewhere around Australia and you don't have a wall that looks like that, yes. can you improvise? Of course, that's the beauty of the game is you can play on any wall you like and the wall itself becomes its own sort of feature of the game. So if you have some interesting features on the wall like we do here with our Sudoku, 
<laughs> I don't put concrete. Uh, that changes the aspect uh, of the game. So if the ball bounces that, it can bounce in different ways. Right. That's all part of it. That Sudoku is almost like the puzzle in which you've got to get out of if the ball happens to hit there. Yeah. But yes. fair and in play. You, you might have a wall that has some other feature like a post through it. That can be your Sudoku. So when the ball hits that, it can bounce in different ways. Fantastic. Uh, JT, Fantastic. Well, look, we know that hour, um, this yes, particular Andrew. court has a, a front wall and a rear wall. Is it one bounce off any wall? Let me ask, is the back wall in play? Is it one bounce off any wall or only off the front wall? The ball has to hit this wall first, but if it does bounce back and hits that, it can bounce back into play. Ah. Okay. So mm -hmm. not every wall has a lane attached to it, so you mightn't be able to play that in other walls, but in ours it's back in play. And the ball can bounce wherever you like on this back wall. As long as it bounces back in the court, you can play on. Mm. So effectively, Good. you can make up any rules you want, <laughs> yes. as long as you're having fun. Yes, yeah, the ultimate street game you have here. You, know, you use your surroundings to add to the game. You know. Great. All right, let, let, we'll give you an example in half an hour. Please, can, can, you, can you release play. the statues? <laughs> yeah. Can you release them? No, I cannot not, believe that they okay, are still... Uh, and everybody in three, two, one, and awake. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> you are the master. I'm also a mentalist. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my best, my favourite part of the show. <laughs> For sure. The weather today. I think with such, you know, loose, improvised rules, mm -hmm. let's put it that way, with such local variation, mm -hmm. I mean, it's great, I love mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. but yeah. the International Conference of Wall Ballers yeah. is heading for a schism. Mm -hmm. oh, I think the you? World Championship is going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Particularly yeah. with the type of ball. I mean, yeah. could you use a tennis uh, ball? Yeah. 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 Ping pong ball? Ping pong ball. ball. Yeah. So are you Your saying like many variations? they need to standardise? No, oh, look, mm -hmm. I think it would be a real shame if they standardised. But, you know, once the IOC, for example, gets a hold of Wall There might come a time when they might have That's to. That's right. We mm. might put that to Keith or Suta. Marky Worrell yeah, <laughs> to, oh, chat about, to, to, to chat about that in the future. Oh, here should, we go. Top five tips should. to avoid war ball okay, arguments. Okay, Sam, here you go. Come on. to you by Marky Worrell. Desk hey, this is looking yeah. good. This is quite your best. Not my coffee. Oh. <laughs> this is an accident oh. waiting to happen. Hey. Children, hey. not at the table. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. How much drink is going to get knocked out. over? <laughs> it's good. I it's love good. it. You've come up with something new. Table. There's something tennis. going there, wasn't there? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Indeed. Inspiring people. <sighs> That's the end That's of our show, Ball folks. Ball Thanks doing. very much. Uh, yeah. We'll see you next week. <laughs> We're heading to Redfern. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this actually, it's, you're right, it brings people together. Can, the big wall, for example, it's a metaphor. on the Gaza Are Strip, mm -mm. for example. Yeah. <gasps> the Can you wall. imagine? Yeah. Gorbachev yeah. and yeah. Israeli Great Wall of China. China. Great Wall of China. Yeah, Mongols v Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. That, exactly. Oh, you, you can so bring many. people bring together people with Lame shorts. Yeah. yeah. You know, everyone could be wearing those. The Dalai them. Lama, for example. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he could be. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Bridge the gap between the Chinese Communist Party and the Tibetan exiles <laughs> through wall ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Dalai Lama. <laughs> All right. anyway, Very quick. Still to come. <laughs> Meet the Russians. Luckily, it's not dampening the spirits of our war ball champions. Mm. No, uh, no, they're JT's going off. At, at, Red at Redfern today. Uh, Julie has written in. She says, War ball has always been called down ball. Apparently, it started back in 1973 when she was a little girl growing up in Victoria. You ah. can see why they changed the name from down ball mm. to, to wall ball. ball. I mean, yeah. down ball sounds a little depressing, down. doesn't or it? Or confu confusing. Oh, good point. Mm. Maybe that's why they wear the gold lame shorts in homage to the original Deep down man. ballers. Yeah, you're getting down yep. with it. <laughs> uh, Busby writes in and says, if you're impressed by wall ball, boom ball will blow you wow. away. Boom ball. Uh, I'd like what to know what boom ball, boom ball, ball is. I don't, yes. I don't know, I'm but I may get, get on, more get on Wikipedia please. right now and find out. I, I, think, I, I don't know, and perhaps because Jade's written in as well saying it's nothing new, played it 20 years ago. The only oh. difference is we called it handball back yeah, then. Well, that that's handball handball didn't play at school. I wondered whether handball. the difference was having two walls, so playing it in a lane way, mm. you know, so we've always played I played ham, you know. But mm. that doesn't have a wall, isn't that? You just, you know, like you, you have can a just, line. And like you and Simon were. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. You can do yeah. it. King, Queen, Jack, Dunce.
guys. The rain is coming down. Us. The rain oh, no. is coming down in Redfern. <gasps> Wet wall ball. Oh, when the rain oh, comes gosh, down, is it ever? in wall ball, you go, you go from dry go wall ball rules to <coughs> wet wall ball rules, oh, which oh, are exactly the same as dry wall ball rules. <laughs> shirt off, though. Well, you could take your shirt off, and that gets the crowd excited. Uh, now, Kirk Docker here, the president of the Redfern chapter of Wall Ball International. Uh, well, just as a basic understanding of the rules of the yes. game, it starts with a gentlemanly serve. Oh, sure. And then players take turns to hit the ball. One one bounce or no bounces. Oh, 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 we're, talking, oh, oh, oh. We're, we're getting into some serious territory here. That's a Sudoku. Explain that to us again. So if you want to hit on the Sudoku here, that, that makes the ball bounce in an interesting way. Okay, now you now that would have been my point, because you hit it twice, that was Well you should have hit it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so it would have been your point. Please refer to that. So now you're in the oh, 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 oh. Okay. Pull that one off. Now Down ball. talk to me about the ham slice. Alright, so to hit a ham slice, <laughs> you need to be in the deli zone, which is this the deep area of the court. <laughs> and a ham slice is when the ball slightly edges the wall and takes a very slim slice of the wall, and that's a ham slice. A ham slice. The only place to hit a ham slice is in the delicatessen. Okay. <laughs> and now, I've heard so, if you hit it with a lot of force, oh. a ham slice <laughs> becomes a hot, a hot pastrami. A, a hot pastrami, yeah. So if you put a bit of, if you put a bit of guts into the shot, it okay. becomes a hot pastrami. So. All right, just hold it there because there's nothing I like doing more than talking about the weather while standing oh, in the in weather. The Let's go to the mats. <laughs> So look, taking shelter here oh, as the rain pours down in Redfern, in the clubhouse, some of the stars of War Ball. Uh, and look, just next door in the members box, we've got some of the babes of War Ball. Uh, this is almost, this is where the wags uh, and babes <laughs> of War Ball hang out. Uh, and there they are. Oh, so cute. Uh, hello, Morning, Maisie. Uh, hey, Chloe. Oh, uh, very cute. He actually Give owns a, nice a wall way. ball team. Wow. He's, a, he's a mogul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a wall ball mogul. JT, I wasn't sure about that first yeah. shot at the clubhouse. We've gone from ham slice to the full cacciatore there. Actually. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, the Delai Lame has gone full salami. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is, a, that's actually, that's Oliver. He's the president of the Crow's Nest chapter of Wall Ball International. Oh, really? So big things happening right around. And there's actually chapters right around the world. Uh, there is actually a chapter in Venice Beach in California. Oh, yeah, well, I believe there's one in New York. Uh, there's a good one down in Kew in Victoria. Uh, they post a lot of stuff <coughs> online, so it's it's certainly growing. Well, we can't wait for the next instalment. Get out of the rain. We're soon it's going to be a wet T-shirt mm. competition. <laughs> slash you, wouldn't a, you wouldn't get a ham slice at Venice Beach, probably. No, You'd be having to be either. turkey or some very lean meat there, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or a coconut water. Or the sort of fake mm. meat, the vegetarian meat. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Venice, What's that tofu yeah. meat substitute thing called? No, I think it's called meat Tofu. substitute <laughs> tofu <laughs> thing. Meat substitute Delicious. Meat. Well, we'll check back in with JT in half an hour. Very funny. Now, JT, Glenda is dissing all over huh? wall ball. What a joke! My Disney. kids have been playing handball what? on the wall for years when they had no one to play with. No. <laughs> there you go. Fair comment. Look, <laughs> I used to play handball at primary school as well. Handball has been around forever. Wall ball, very similar. In fact, <laughs> I don't know if there are any differences. Uh, look, we've just had... I'm glad, I'm glad we came a couple minutes after because we just had a hold, which is a situation you often get in wall ball where a car or a bicycle or someone oh. walking a stroller comes down. You just have to hold, no matter where you are in state of play, and then continue. Let me introduce you now to some of the stars of Wall Ball. Uh, if, uh, if Wilco just come up, and this is Marty the Kid. Uh, just turned up a little bit late, but that's what he normally does. Uh, then we've got Scotty. Uh, hang on, wait, no, hang on, hang on. I've got to get to the right place. Michael, the architect. Here we go, Ronald, uh, also known as McDonald's. Callum, known as the China Shop because he's like a bull in her. Scott here, Lady Hands, Lady Hands. This is, this is Scott like Snare, Scotty Drummer, known as Snare. His rule book, Kirk, T-Bone Tony. We got Austin the pool because it's his first day and he's completely wet. <laughs> and this is Biz the original. <laughs> <laughs> These, ladies and gentlemen, are the stars of War Ball. Well, the Redfern chapter anyway. Yeah. There are some more chapters right around the world. I'll tell you those after we look at the maps. Uh, Kirk, if yes. I could just get you over here. Sure. Now, we've just been talking about some of the chapters right around. We've got Sid Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, Perth, London. Yes. Jakarta. Yeah, mate. Wherever there's a wall, you can have a game. So games are being picked up there. We got what? Washington, Hawaii, DC, Hawaii. There's boys who have started playing there. Beirut. Yes. 
Now, let's talk about some of the games that have been playing around the world. I hear you've had a game at the Great Wall. Yeah, well, we search out some of the greatest walls in the world to have a game. So, Great Wall of China. I've also played at the Berlin Wall. And just recently, I was in San Francisco and I played on the original wall ball courts in Alcatraz. So, Did we got, you go on the tour, we took a ball, we went down there, we had a hit. And that was last week? Yeah, last, last week I was there. Also, at Joshua Tree, we had a game there. Joshua Tree National Park. Now, uh, we've got to go, but uh, just quickly, the difference between Hando and Wall Ball. Handball is the American game. We hit the ball on the wall on the full. Oh, we go right. down first, and they have a you know a, a standard court. We okay. play on any wall that we can find a wall. Okay, but the sort of the handball that I played in primary school kind of similar to yeah. wall ball. Some people call it down balls. Different on the state that you grew up in. Okay, all right. So we're going for the generic wall ball. Okay, I hope that explains it uh, to the I missed her name. I'm sorry, Blender. but I hope that explains it. Yeah, Blender. basically Should exactly the Thank same. Thank you, Glenda. Uh, <laughs> I felt an undercurrent of hostility from Glenda, mm, you know, as if her kids yeah. hadn't been recognised for their mm. contribution yeah. to we, wall we, ball. We recognise them here. We recognise yeah. them here, Glenn. Yeah. And when, yeah. the, the, when the definitive history of war ball is written, I'm sure your kids' <laughs> names will be in there. When they had no one to play with. That's yeah. right. They'd play with the wall. And now they've got a whole world of people to play with, Glenn. Yeah, I mean, it's fantastic. Because be it's been institutionalised now, yeah. you know, mm. standard up. That's right. Wall ball go-to guy this morning, James Toby. <laughs> oh! Welcome back, Australia. You join us here in a very tense wall ball encounter. Yeah. The weather is, is real. <laughs> We've got James Take Your Pick Tobin playing <laughs> against the kid and uh, and the architect is also in the corner. We've got China Shop here. It's 6-3. Kirk, what do you make of James Take Your Pick Tobin's <laughs> outfit? It's, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's original. Let's call it that. It's set up for the game. Here we go. And we're back in play. We've got take, take Your Pick. He's backing off the architect. Oh, you oh, 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 from the downtown Delhi. Absolutely. Delhi. The, the, the kid's got a yeah. double hander and it just doesn't come off. Those shorts, Kirk, those shorts. Oh, no. oh so we've been take struggling. Your take Your Pick. He calls himself Take Your Pick, which oh, is. We've got oh, we've got a hold, we've got a hold, hold. we've got a hold, people. Oh, hold, oh, yeah, it's back and through. The interesting thing about him making himself take your pick is that even though he can choose any shot, he still made an error then. Yes, it's true. Foxy oh. goes wide oh, again. Oh, and it's still in play. Oh, and he's beaten down in the downtown Delhi. She I'm very, proud to say that we have there. the finest wall okay. ball commentary team on television yeah. at Channel 7 yep. with yep. snare and rule book there. That's Thanks very much for that, guys. Yeah, we're working very well here. The weather's not great, but the wall ball's fantastic. Oh, great reverse oh, forehand okay. there from... Oh, let's just have to take a break in proceedings while we go to the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the serious side of the competition is now on here in Redfern. I'll tell you what, the crowd are going wild. Uh, <laughs> huge turnout here in Redfern. I'm going to go back to the commentary team and get back into the game. Take it away, fellas. Serves it up, generally style. Kid plays on from there. China shot. Oh, he gets in the way. Take Someone your pick, Tobin. Ingratiating <laughs> himself with the local. He can oh, also be known as the yeah, leopard. He could be. Look at those shorts. And back to you in the studio. That, yeah. Thank you so thank much. You, yeah, thanks, what, Rulebook. What a, what a commentary team. Proud. Very proud. They are the Bruce McAbonies of Rulebook. They are. What was your nickname again? You are... Take your pick, Tobin, was my nickname, yep. but it can change, it can change. The stars of Warball, I became Tangles Tobin very quickly. Uh, the architect has been renamed Gold Member, so there's some of the examples of how things can change very quickly in the game of Warball. Now, it is going international, uh, it's also attracting some big names. Um, one of the babes of Warball, Jodie Spears from the Seven News Room. Morning, Jodie. That's what I do in my spare time. Yeah, are you a regular down here? Um, kind of, I live just here. So. Right. Yeah, it's quite convenient. So you like to sort of dip in, dip out, just to keep the skills sharp? Yeah. Put in a few squeals, you know. Nice. Hit a few winners. And what are, are you more of a forehand or a backhand? Where are um, your specialties? I like this sort of sneaky backhand. Right. And into the Sudoku square, just Yeah, there. nice. And I guess if you can shelter the ball with your body and, and your opponent can't see it... Exactly. They don't know which you way you're going to go. You anything out and... <sighs> Some of the skills of from a fun. veteran of Warball here in Redfern. Let's go to the maps. <laughs> uh, to any of the Warball chapters around Australia watching this morning, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested in Warball, jump on our website. We've got all the details there. It is, as I said, uh, not confirmed by the Australian Bureau of Statistics to be the fastest growing sport in Australia and internationally. And I repeat, not confirmed. Oh! <laughs> okay, and we're back into the game. See you, yes? And a lot more. I, I would say a lot more people are going to join after this, particularly after they've seen Fears McSpears action there. Uh, yeah, very, very oh, good yeah. stuff. Yep. See you, JT. <laughs> Can you suggest <laughs> them, please, that the Check international Hurst conference should be held at, um, at Wall's End Holes! near Newcastle? Come on through. <laughs> See you guys. See you, mate. <laughs>
We've had such a good morning. I love morning. that aspect of the game. It's, yeah, the mm. hold. The hold. Yeah. You do.